okay so the first fault under consideration is a self clearing temporary fault three phase fault on the load side of tap 2 that is this side okay so from from the table given here here from the table given here for bus 2 the three phase fault current is 1500 amps so we have to find the uh, the first protective event that will happen uh, um, after this 1500 amps three phase fault has occurred okay so we will go to the time cara where in the horizontal axis we will take the point 1500 amps for 1500 amps the first event that will happen is the 280 amps ground but this is not there in picture now we have only the 560 amps phase uh, fast recloser here so the first thing that happens is the uh, at, at the in this curve so this corresponds to 0 0.05 seconds so at 0 0.05 seconds fast reclosure will happen and if uh, after 0 0.05 seconds it opens and the recloser opens um, i mean 0 0.05 seconds after the 1500 amps fault current uh, occurs and then recloses after half seconds because the first fast reclosure uh, time duration is half second so when it closes suppose the temporary fault is self cleared then it restores the service right the reclosure uh, the recloser um, restores the service after the fast reclosure itself but if it's a permanent fault then what will happen that is what we are going to see in the second case in the second case it is given that let me take it uh, in the second case it is given that uh, it's a permanent fault a permanent three phase fault on the load side of tap 2 then what will happen the current is same at uh, the tap 2 three phase fault current is again 1500 amps but this time it's a permanent fault then we will again go to the um, characteristic right in the characteristic one second let me okay in the characteristic we have yes again 1500 amps for 1500 amps the first event is the same at 0 0.05 seconds we have this cara corresponding to 560 amps fast reclosure so the fast reclosure at 560 amps happen then after half seconds when it closes it closes into the permanent fault it does not close into the cleared temporary fault rather it again it again uh, closes into the permanent fault after half seconds so then what happens is uh, it again opens right the second fast reclosure it, it will go to the second fast reclosure then at the, in the second time it uh, recloses after two seconds delay so already 0 0.05 seconds after 0 0.05 seconds one opening is there then recloses after half seconds into the permanent fault then opens again after uh, half seconds so half plus half plus two seconds so total three seconds so 1500 amps and corresponding to three seconds it has reached here right this curve this curve corresponds to 560 amps delayed uh, reclosure right the 560 amps delayed reclosure happens uh, for five to ten seconds because uh, delayed reclosure means it takes more time but before the five to ten seconds um, delay uh, or, or during the 5 to 10 seconds delay the fuse will come into picture the fuse will come into picture in the sense the 100 t fuse will come into picture right the, uh, because on the left side we have the 100 t fuse which is connected as a protective device at bus 2 so what happens is during this time this fuse will melt then load 2 is again isolated but uh, we we know that this happened during this 5 to 10 seconds delayed reclosure so after 5 to 10 seconds this uh, recloser again closes when it closes this fault is cleared by the fuse so in that case 
the service is restored for loads 3 and 1. So that is what happens in this particular situation. OK, so two cases. One is the temporary fault on load 2 and the second one is a permanent fault on load uh, load 2. So for a temporary fault on load 2. At 0 0.05 seconds, the fast reclosure happens. By the time it closes again, the fault is self cleared. So it restores service to the loads 3, 2 and 1. But for the permanent fault, what happens is after 0 0.05 seconds, it opens. Then after half seconds, it closes. Then after half seconds, it again opens. Then after two seconds, it closes. So basically uh, it is already three seconds after the 1500 amps three phase uh, fault. So uh, at three seconds, we reach this particular CARA at, one, at 1500 amps we reach uh, here, right? So this CARA corresponds to uh, 560 amps uh, delayed reclosure. So the delayed reclosure will take 5 to 10 seconds time. So in, during this 5 to 10 seconds, the fuse will come into picture. This 100 T fuse will come into picture and it, it will melt. So after 5 to 10 seconds, if the recloser clo closes, then at that time it closes into the cleared fault condition because load 2 is already cleared by the fuse. So loads 3 and 1 will be served. I'm repeating it again. Okay. Thank you.